This is part 47 of Angular CRUD tutorial. In this video, we will discuss implementing a filter pipe in Angular. Now, one important point to keep in mind is Angular team recommends not to use pipes to filter and sort data. This is because a filtering and sorting pipe can significantly impact the performance of the application if not implemented carefully. To better understand the performance implications, let's implement a custom pipe to filter data. We discussed creating a custom pipe in detail in part 19 of Angular 2 tutorial. So if you are new to creating custom pipes, please check out part 19 of Angular 2 playlist. Now here is what we want to do. On our employee list component, we want to include this search by name text box. As soon as we start to type the name of an employee, we want to filter the employee list and display only those employees whose name contains the characters that we have typed in the search by name text box. So within the view template of our list employees component, let's include the required HTML markup for the search text box. Just about this employee list div, let's include another div element. And I'm going to use bootstrap form group class for styling. Inside this div element, let's include a text box. So input type equals text. And I'm going to use another bootstrap class form control. Again, this is for styling. Let's also include placeholder text. We want the placeholder text to be search by name. Now let's limit the width of this text box to 300 pixels. Now whatever name that we type in the search text box, we want to keep track of that within our component class. So let's create a property for that. I'm going to name it search term and this is of type string. Now to keep the value in this property and in this text box in sync, let's make use of Angular two-way data binding. So let's use the banana in a box syntax, ng model, and the property name is search term. So this completes the markup required for our search text box. Next, we want to create a custom pipe to filter the list of employees we have in this employees property. So we want to flow this list through our custom pipe. So let's use the pipe character and we're going to name our custom filter pipe employee filter. And to this pipe, we want to pass whatever search term that we type in the search text box and we have a property which is keeping track of the value that we have in the search text box and that property is search term. So let's pass that as a parameter to our employee filter pipe. So all that is left now to do is create this custom filter pipe. Let's place this custom pipe file in employees folder. Let's name the file employee-filter since this is a pipe, let's use .pipe as well. And this is a TypeScript file, so .ts extension. So let's create our pipe class. The class name is employee filter pipe. Since we are creating a pipe, this class has to implement an interface. And that interface name is pipe transform. Now we need to import this pipe transform interface from Angular core. And let's use single quotes instead of double quotes here. Now this pipe transform interface has got one method for which our class has to provide implementation. And that method is transform. This method is going to receive two parameters. The first parameter is the list of employees that we want to filter. Let's call this parameter employees. This is going to be an employee array. The second parameter is the search term itself. So let's name it search term. And this is of type string. Now, if you look at this filter, we're actually using it on our employee list component. The list of employees we have in this property will be passed as a first parameter and the search term itself will be passed as the second parameter. Now the logic to filter the list of employees will be in this transform method. 
Now the first thing that I'm going to do is if either this employees parameter or if the search parameter is not true there, then we want to return the original list of employees. So if employees property is not true there or search term parameter is not true there, then we want to return the original list of employees we have in the employees parameter. On the other hand, if both the parameters are true there, then we want to filter our list. So return employees dot, we can use the array filter method to filter the list of employees, employee such that employee dot name dot to lowercase. We want to convert this to lowercase so the comparison can be case insensitive. Let's actually move this code to the next line so we can see it better. Since we have an extra space here, the linting tool is reporting that as an error. So let's get rid of that extra space. Once we have this name converted to lowercase, let's use index of method and to this, let's pass our search term as a parameter. And let's also convert this search term to lowercase. So this index of method is going to return minus one if the search term is not found in the employee name. If the search term is found, then it's going to return a number other than minus one. So this comparison is going to give us the list of all those employees whose name contains the search term. Now notice on line number 13, we have a red squiggly and if I hover the mouse over, it says file should end with a new line. That's another linting error. So let's fix that by including a new line. Now we know this transform method is returning a filtered list of employees. So let's specify the return type as an array of employees. Finally, since we are creating a pipe, we need to decorate this class with at pipe decorator. Now we need to give our pipe a name. So for that, let's use the name property and I'm going to name it employee filter. And if you look at our list employees component, where we are using this pipe, we're using the same name employee filter. Finally, we need to register our custom pipe. Let's do that in the root module file. Let's include our custom pipe in the declarations array. We don't have it imported yet. Let's import it. Let's save all our changes. Notice when I type J in search by name text box, we only see John. Now, as you can see, we implemented filtering using a pipe and everything seems to be working fine. So the question that comes to our mind is, why did the Angular team recommend not to use pipes to filter and sort data? Well, that's because a filtering and sorting pipe can significantly impact the performance of the application. We will discuss these performance implications and the recommended approach to filter and sort data in our next video. Here is our custom pipe code. That's it in this video. Thank you for watching and have a great day.